Hello. In this video, we're going to go through a front-facing camera procedure. We already have it highlighted here. We'll go ahead and start this calibration procedure. First thing that we're going to do is it's going to ask for home position. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels. Once we have both targets on an axle, we can proceed. The next will light up green. K4 will correspond and continue. Now what we're going to check for is free space to see if we actually have enough room to complete the calibration. Simply look at the graphic on the screen and imagine green lines connecting the red dots to make a square in front of the car to define free space. Now that we have defined our clear space, we need to check clear space for ultimate ADAS sensor tower. What's going to happen in this step is the red dot lasers are going to shine on the floor approximately where the ADAS sensor tower is going to go. We can now look at the floor and see that we have enough space to roll the ultimate ADAS sensor tower into place. The next step will be a floor height measurement. It is critical during this step not to block the lasers. You will see them flash and take a measurement of the floor. Now we're ready to place the tower. During this step, we will release the brakes on the tower and roll back towards the red dots. What we want to achieve is the red dots hitting both white reflectors on the base of the tower. Next, we're going to mount the left and right target board stored on the back of the Ultimate ADAS console. After the target boards have been mounted, we actually need to mount our target IDs. You notice on this one, it's displaying the target ID of 20. You'll see that target ID corresponds on the end here and we'll go on the left board. Simply on clasp and roll the target down. Process now is to do target number 22 on the right board. Again, you'll see the corresponding number on the end of the target and displayed on the graphic on screen. You will notice on screen, as the correct targets are mounted, you will get a green check mark. After you've confirmed that you have the correct target IDs mounted, this is a great time to have your handheld remote in your hand. The next several steps can be done from this physical location with a handheld remote. Ultimate ADAS will adjust to the correct height. Next, we will make lateral adjustments with our target boards. Simply follow the on-screen graphic. Positioning the bar graph in the green. Once this is achieved, you'll get two green check marks and you can progress to the right target. Again, follow the on-screen graphic. Getting the bar graph with two green check marks. And if you overshoot, you can always go back. Continue on. You may see a slight orientation here where we square everything up to the car. Once the target orientation is complete, Go to your scan tool and complete the calibration.